I'm Vice Catudio of USAID PESA Project, Kimonics International. In March 2020, the Philippine government has declared a nationwide community quarantine to contain the transmission of the new coronavirus. This quarantine has effectively crippled the economy and rendered millions of Filipinos jobless. Now, in order to address uh, the economic impact of the pandemic, the government, through the Department of Social Welfare and Development, or DSWD, has implemented a social amelioration program, which provides monthly cash aid to about 18 million low-income families for two months. Relief Agad is a beneficiary registration web application for the social amelioration program. It enables the government to capture personal data directly from target beneficiaries. The app empowers the beneficiaries to self-register. Using the smartphones, they can go to reliefagad.ph, encode their personal data, and send the data directly to the government. The app also allows beneficiaries to enroll their e-money or bank account for faster payment of cash aid. For those with no bank account, DSWD can push the data to participate in financial institutions to facilitate the opening of new accounts. The app was developed to address two basic problems. First is the slow process of beneficiary registration. The second is the cumbersome manual cash aid distribution. It was equally inefficient as it requires massive resources to secure and handle cash, perform the required documentation, and enforce social distancing protocol at distribution centers. So we developed Relief Agad to speed up the registration process and make cash aid distribution fast and safe. IPESO engaged both the government, the private sector, and the actual beneficiaries in developing Relief Agad. We provided technical assistance to the SWD to adopt digital technologies in implementing the program. Now, other government agencies involved were the Department of Information and Communications Technology to manage the IT infrastructure and perform cybersecurity assessment, the Banco Central ng Pilipinas to assist in tapping financial institutions for digital disbursement, and LGUs to give inputs on how to improve the process. For the private sector, we tapped the Developers Connect Philippines, which is the largest community of software developers in the country. They assembled a team of volunteers to develop the system at no cost to the government. We also tapped Amazon to provide cloud services for free. The field to group to whitelist the app and the mobile network for free data. And BDO Foundation and SM Group to provide free SMS for one-time password. Key to the success of any technology solution is a good understanding of the target market. The target users for the app are families in the low-income segment. It has less than 50% smartphone penetration. They access the internet primarily through smartphones. They are budget or cost conscious, and we think digital literacy is an issue, particularly for the elderly. We employ the quality assurance and user experience testing team to test the app for usability and to ensure better user experience. We designed the app to allow beneficiaries to share smartphones for as long as the mobile number they register is unique. We work with a leading mobile network operator to have the website whitelisted in the network so people can access the site and register with no data charge. We provided instructional video material on how to register using the app. We also provided a customer support facility for beneficiaries to call or to chat if they have questions on the app. We basically eliminated the barriers to adoption and provided customer support in case users needed help. I have four ideas to share with other project teams. The first one is co-create solution with key stakeholders. Now solving development problems require engaging diverse stakeholders like uh, policymakers, implementing agencies, service providers, and constituents that supplement the beneficiaries. Through co-creation, diverse ideas coming from multiple stakeholders can lead to new ideas and innovation, with something that we all need to address the impact of this pandemic. The second one is rapid prototyping and testing. Rather than waste time in the design phase, quickly develop a minimum viable product as prototype. You test, enhance, and then repeat the process. 
and to live an acceptable solution. The third one is leveraging private sector resources. The private sector has done needed resources to implement technology solutions or projects, something that most governments in developing countries or economies don't have. Uh, they have the software developers, they have the technology experts to build the system, and they have the infrastructure to deploy the system. Uh, the key is to engage the private sector in the spirit of unity and cooperation, which we call in the Philippines as a Binance spirit, to help in addressing development problems. The fourth one is institutionalizing innovation through policy. So in our case, we're working with the DWD for them to use the app in other programs, including future emergency subsidy programs. With the transaction accounts that we have created uh, under the project, uh, we effectively prepositioned accounts in the hands of the vulnerable segment. This means that the government can disperse digitally in future emergency programs. Uh, the innovation can be sustained through enabling policies.